Since the time of the Founding Fathers, dark forces have been preying on America. As the fight against these vampires continued, a secret organization has trained people with remarkable skills. The agent's duty is to protect ordinary people from the forces of evil. Chester will be none too chatty with his gut sprayed all over a train carriage. I know how to shape an explosion, Edgar. Suck my dick. He's the Secretary of War, not the Secretary of Bridges. Uh, let's go have a look see. I go high. Let's give it a try. Seven, 1864, 1881. Arranged in order of vintage like fine wine. All dead. Fuck. Boy, you better make all this. 
it's worth our time, Chester. Bad time for this thing to collapse.
Jesus. Christ. <coughs> Worst damn barbecue ever. Hey, boy up. through. I can smell you, Jess, you lousy skunk.
Your father's leash, I see. Heard you were on your way to the gathering, Chess. What's this? Catering? Why, I have no idea what you. That big shiny ball out there is no good for your sensitive skin. The sun's not to know what they'll do to me. Fun game. Let's test that theory. No, no, Richard, stop! Belmontville! The, the gathering's in Belmontville! <laughs> Excellent choice, Chester. And since you're feeling so damn helpful, we're gonna be needing a guide. <laughs> Consider it a promotion. Give shit. Belmontville's a long way from the manor. We're on a clock here. We've been hunting Debono for three months. What's another few hours? <sighs> have it your way. But your father's gonna have your ass as an ashtray if we don't make that presentation. You're retired. What's he gonna do? Fire you? <laughs> Belmontville Mines, huh? We're gonna be walking blind into a damn maze. And if our tick friend here is telling the truth, the Bono's gonna be right in the middle of it. I don't think I'm in a position to lie, do you? <laughs> That's the spirit, Chester. Now you lift those fancy illusions, and who knows? Maybe you'll make it out of this after all. The glamour! I... <laughs> Even I have my limitations, Mr. Gravener. You want a limitation? How about walking around without a head? Crawling with familiars. No question. And where do you think you're going? Judging by that tone of yours, sounds like I'm making sure fancy pants here doesn't make a run for it. In broad daylight. That's why we need familiars. I'm starting to question your qualifications for this job. Those ass licking bags. <laughs> Tick lovers should be shot on sight. Ah, what the hell. Maybe we can play with dynamite out here too. Right, Jess? I'll make you a new waistcoat. I don't believe my tailor would like that. See? You're bonding already. Ah, eat me. That gathering won't find itself, you know? You know, the cat is right there in front of you. Oh, shut up. I told you my sight's not recovered after the change. So you're telling me it's not the booze?
quite a find. about right. Dime to Bono's here somewhere. Dead end. Great. Hmm? You seeing this too? Take it off. Mr. Rentier, on a first date? What do you take me for? You're right. Maybe a little light to set the mood. No, no need. I see it now. Of course. The glamour. I'm on it. Today, Chester, 
Please, I need to concentrate. It's not that easy to sever the illusion from its source. What's the source? You don't want to know. Let's switch. I'll take the explosives, you get to Bono. Is this about the bridge? It's not not about the bridge. <sighs> Got the damn train, didn't I? Tech architecture, but that, that's something. It's hard to. enough. Are 
unique species, brothers and sisters. We are not bred. We are not born. We come to life when we accept the gift of change. Our powers are many, and they have served us well. The art of glamour has given us safety through secrecy, but I am afraid we are becoming the victims of progress. Sooner or later, human technology will find a way to see past our illusions. They will expose and demonize us and make us their ultimate enemy. Inevitably, we will become their inferiors. Jesus, it's huge. When did they build this? And how? their little party. We consider ourselves proud hunters, predators, but that pride sometimes prevents us from growing as a species. Internal divisions have weakened us. Our numbers dwindle while their numbers grow. But it's not too late. We can still survive, but to do so, we must be ready to adapt. We cannot be too proud to evolve. is lifted, we won't stand the chance. We might be more powerful, but they will crush us with their numbers. Listen to the voice. Enough. Your lines first to all out war with the humans endangers us all. Peace of Navano. 
without the sheep. The wolves go hungry, yes. But the day is coming when the sheep will outwit the wolves. Haven't you been watching, brother? The humans have harnessed the power of steam and lightning, and they grow mighty. If our hubris allows us to grow fat and lazy in the shadows, they will soon have the power to hunt us down like dogs. And so you propose war. War suggests there is a chance we might lose. I propose we strike with my new asset. We can control the change. Reclaim the Sanguisuja's rightful place at the top of the food chain. Control the change. Are you mad? Even suggesting such a thing is blasphemy. Dominic, brother, these are blasphemous times. While my methods may very well be at variance with our tradition, I can tell you one thing. If we don't adapt, we will perish. Enough. I will not allow you and your master greed to, to lead us into annihilation. Peter Davan, for the high crime of conspiracy against your own kind. I sentence you and your line to the true death. I told you, Father. They wouldn't listen. We had to try, Felicity Mikara. Our work will be a lot easier if we can help them understand. If we can't... Then we... Force them to! Could have brought a bigger knife. Some people get a gold watch when they retire. I got Susan here. <laughs> oh, 
Should have asked him how to get out of here. Too late. He won't be of any use for a month or two. Wait. What about Chester? Well, what are you gonna do? Now that is how you shape an explosion. Damn, we're late. Now at least we won't be going back to the manor empty-handed. Spend taxpayers' money. James Harrow. The people's hero. <laughs> I heard the White House sends him golden toilet paper. As long as he keeps the presidential ass clear of tick trouble. Feed him well. We've got a lot of ground to cover tonight. You're not staying for the presentation? The whole institute is in town. Uh, I'll pass on the corporate back padding session. I don't need another retirement lecture. Here, take this to your father before it wakes up and starts cursing us all to high hell. Great, so I'll just tell him you've traded killing vampires for swilling cheap bourbon? Tell him whatever you want. Fine, skip the presentation. But you ain't getting away from a final drink with me afterwards. Good morning, sir. I'm taking it. Mr. Rent here? At ease, boys. My father in his office? He is. How did it go? Did you get that big fangster you were after? Oh, officially they called it a cholera epidemic, but truth was they were dealing with a terrible outbreak of amateur necromancy. The entire institute was engaged in the hunt. Where the hell you been? Thought you got bitten by some tick. Some of those fanny fellas were hiding Heavy out Heavy as hell. That's why the president ordered the western border secured. Did you hear about those ones that grew tentacles? That's a first. Edgar and my father in the Civil War. Right before the bloody Battle of the Wilderness, Central Virginia. His life changed forever during that fight. Highborn nearly killed him. Badly tore up his leg. Edgar carried him in the dead of night across enemy lines to a field hospital, but the surgeon could only do so much. After that, Dad could no longer function in the field. Here cost me an arm and a leg. Veil of secrets. Director Rentier sure looks edgy. Something's up. I can smell it. Mr. Rentier, you remember me? From my first year of cadet training. I'm the shortest one of the bunch. But the very next year, I grew like a weed. Had to buy all new pants. Sir. Grave nurse with you. He sends his regards. He's afraid you'll try and talk him out of retirement again. 
I don't believe either of us want that. You know, he did risk his life to get this for you. That's Harrow's trinket. I'm sure you'll both be rewarded accordingly. Edgar isn't some civilian looking for a medal. This is all he knows. Your institute saw to that. My institute? <sighs> this isn't about Agent Gravener, Jesse. We are on the cusp of great progress. Great change. Today's presentation is of critical importance to the family. After which... Edgar is family. After which, I expect you to step up to your duties here at the manor. With all due respect, Director, I am a field agent, not a paper pusher. You're a rentier! <sighs> Why must you always make me spoon-feed these things to you, Jesse? There are bigger things at work here than running around in caves slaying beasts. I do believe someday soon you will see it my way. And if you don't, it's my responsibility to force that change. Now, leave me be. I must prepare for the presentation. And send someone in here to clean up this mess. Mr. Rendier, Agent Feathers is waiting for you in the lobby. Should have seen that priest armed with holy water crosses and whatnot. You're just in time. The presentation should be starting soon. What do you got for me this time? Gravener by the stables. He ain't coming in. I heard Gravener's finally retired. Father in all his directorial glory. The artist who painted the portrait, what was his name? Philemon Cole? He was so curious about those gauntlets. Word came back that he talked about them in a local pub, and Father had to give him a very stern talking to. Scared the living piss out of him. Father was a very private person. I'm surprised he ever consented to even pose for this portrait. You can see by the look in his eyes, he wasn't too happy about it. Good to see you back, sir. Gentlemen, uh, gentlemen, if you'll take your seats. And, uh, <laughs> welcome. Yeah, I'm Assistant Secretary of War, James Harrow. President Cleveland wants you to know how appreciative we are of the vital service the Urentia Institute performs, defending our great country from monsters of all shapes and sizes. He also wanted me to make sure you're not blowing all our money on Mexican Monty, but that's another conversation. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, quite. Well, uh, <clears throat> as I say, keep up the good work. God bless you all, and uh, God bless America. Thank you all for gathering here tonight. It's rare we gather in such numbers, but I believe great progress calls for momentous celebration. Our efforts in the fight against the Sanguisuja's spread have too often been baffled by the creature's most insidious weapon, their so-called glamours. 
These impenetrable illusions have allowed countless fiends to slip through our grasp for too long. That ends now. Agent Rentier, we've upgraded the standard field agent's gauntlet with something our science bods have affectionately named the Zapper. Not exactly an elegant name, but it does the trick. When triggered, the Zapper sends out an electrical impulse that shatters any nearby Sanguizoon glamours forthwith, eliminating what is not and leaving only what is. Once finished, these new gauntlets will be distributed to cells nationwide post haste, allowing us to sweep our respective territories for glamoured nooks and crannies. This is the beginning of a new age, gentlemen. Armed with this gauntlet, there is no way our enemy can surprise us.
Jess, thank Christ. Where's my father? Still kicking ass, last time I saw him. Old fool thinks he's still in the field. Listen, he wants us to destroy the archives before these assholes get their hands on it. You get to it, and I'll find Harold's pampered ass. Meet me out front. Never thought I'd have to blow up my own house. Hold on, pal. You're gonna be fine. You okay, Agent? Just hold on. Joseph Warren and great grandfather Dick. To find the tech headquarters, he let the Brits take him captive. Would love to have seen the surprise on their faces when he incinerated those tick nests and saved their royal asses.
now to find my father.
Get him out of here. I got this. Don't be cross with me, Father. I couldn't leave you at the mercy of these savages. Could you not do that, you fleshy toad? You nearly hit him. Stop blabbing, you're gonna be fine. I know what I'm doing. This is the key, Jesse. Don't let it out of your sight. It's all we've got. It's in your hands now. We need to stop! Stop? We need to get the fuck out of here! We need to find a defensive position to hold us over till morning. Then we head to Calico. could blow this defensive position over with a wet fart. We need the higher ground. And that's where the sun will hit first. I'll get the horses, and we'll stand our ground up there. Of these 
These guys are...
Hello, Jess. Kinda busy here, Edgar. Okay. Just a little longer. Sun's almost up. Jesus, how many did she send after us? Out of lightning? Good thing we still got a big shiny ace up our sleeve. I don't think he's breathing. Calico, it's around the corner. There's a doctor there. Doc, we need help. Lewis, protocol Epsilon. Sit down and roll up your sleeve. We will save your father, Mr. Rentier. engineer Virgil Virgil only it's an honor to finally meet you in the flesh <laughs> sir your gauntlet is a thing of beauty only a genius could I need that fixed yesterday I'll need a bigger lab if I'm gonna solve the mysteries of time travel sir I mean how are we doing arrow needs a scapegoat he won't leave without someone to blame for that fiasco. Pissed off little Highborn looking for her maker's head? No one could have predicted that. I don't think she did all that for just Abano. We're missing something. I'd bet my last buck we'll heal more from this Felicity tick pretty soon. I'm gonna check if Amelia needs some backup with Harrow. Who do I have to bend over this bar and indiscreetly <clears throat> fuck to get some coffee around here? What a day. See you in the briefing room. Owe you everything, Doctor. Need to check on my gauntlet first. There must be a workshop somewhere around. Mr. Rentier, Mr. Harrow wants to see you as soon as you're done in the workshop. Sorry, Hunch Father, sir, but 
Mr. Harrow was waiting for you in the briefing room, sir. Yeah, yeah, I heard that already. Got your goddamn gilded invitation. I expected champagne and canapes. Instead, some fag fuck broke into your headquarters and slapped you all around like a gaggle of whimpering sissies. Now the entire country is left unprotected while I stand here with my dick in my hand like an idiot. So again. Could someone please tell me how the fuck did this happen? Security services were redirected to protect our most valuable asset. And how the fuck wasn't that me? That was my father's call, and it was Agent Gravener's quick thinking that saved your life, sir. For all the fucking good it'll do once I tell the Capitol that its primary defense against all kinds of monsters just collapsed. We'll take care of it, sir. What, from here? This place is a shithole at the edge of fucking nowhere. And don't be fooled by our humble trappings, Secretary Harrow. Calico Cell has the highest survival rate in the Institute, as well as its very best engineer. We are your only chance of turning this around. Then I expect a report on those tick assholes on my desk first thing, Doctor. And who the fuck are you? I, uh, uh, um... <sighs> Wait a minute. I'm the best engineer? You better be, because we need this thing operational as soon as possible, before Harrow comes back to string us all up. Harrow can suck my... How bad is it? Well, the glamour disruptor's fried. Then we have the insulation around the power coupling. Can you fix it or not? It's doable, but I'll need time. A few weeks, a month tops. We ain't got that long. We have to be ready to take down this Felicity character when we find her. You mean if we find them? We have no idea where to even look. Not necessarily. To the north, there's a canyon surrounding the main trail. And the unimaginative locals call it the Devil's Pass. And reports mention possibly unknown vampiric specimens. And we chalked it down to hearsay, but now we sent our top Sanguisuge expert to investigate. I hope by expert you mean a field agent and not another bookworm. Scott Bloom co-wrote the Institute's Sanguisuge Best. We need soldiers, not pencil pushers. I can't run around looking for a missing egghead hoping that maybe he brings something to the table. When did he last report? Five days ago. Now let's just hope he's lost in research.
This species appears to possess shape-shifting abilities, most uncommon for the typical sanguisuge. I dare say, this ability might be blood-dependent, but it's hard to tell based on the limited amount of evidence found. I'm wondering if we're witnessing some sort of accelerated evolution, spurred perhaps by certain unknown environmental factors. Oh, let's check this beauty out. Dead end. Fucking great. Gotta find another way. Hope I'll find some trace of blue. Get the rocks ready! Get in place, assholes! Wait for my signal! Ready! Cool. Tight. This canyon is protected like some kind of vault. What are they hiding here?
that's mine. Cash. Too far to jump. Taking it. Research continues, but nothing I've seen explains the unusual capabilities of this curious animal. Judging by the diameter of the tunnels it creates, I estimate it stands at least eight feet tall and is quite powerful. Shit, whatever is behind that door must be huge. Might be that thing Bloom was looking for. Yeah, I need to hold those doors.
Flying creatures most disturbing. They appear in large numbers, protecting the newly transformed Sangrasujas like hornets guarding their hive. It's not clear if that's their only purpose. Perhaps they also gather sustenance and function as scouts. Finders keepers. Where the heck did it go? Looks like I'm getting closer to its nest. <laughs> Ugh, what a stench.
Blue? Is that you down there? Uh, yes, it's, it's me, but who are... <sighs> Whoa, you're Jesse Rinier, sir. Splendiferous. Care to explain what happened here, Bloom? Oh, no. uh, well, I was sent here to investigate reports of a novel breed of sanguisuge. When I arrived, I encountered a group of familiars, apparently sent here by their masters. That was a familiar? How come a human turned into that thing so quickly? Well, excellent question, sir. My thesis is that their transformation is linked to the blood from these creatures somehow. The how is what I'm stuck on. Uh, we better take one of those things back with us to the lab. Still beats me what those familiars were doing here. Well, from what I could gather, they were sent on a transport detail, securing a convoy of carts filled with some curious, wriggly little creatures they brought from McCallum's sawmill. Uh, we need to check that place out. Glad to see you in one piece, sir. Devil's Pass. I can see how it got its name. Where are you off to in such a hurry? Bar run out of whiskey? Jess, when we dragged your dad in here, there was an awful lot of blood on him. He'll be fine. Bastard's too damn stubborn to die. I've seen my share of battle wounds. The ones William got, no way even half of that came out of him alone. Somewhere between the falling airships and hopping boo hags, I don't know. Could be that collateral damage wasn't the tick's only objective. Could be they... They infected him? No. No fucking way. Jess, hold your horses and just think about it. The Institute is infiltrated, and they let both you and William walk away? Jess, when a tick turns a familiar, they form a sort of bond. The sire can see into the servant's mind. Now, they make that link with, say, the man who developed that weapon you're carrying. Edgar, our orders are clear when folks get infected. Infected means dead. Those are his own words. Breathe. I've got an idea. Remember that crap I brought from Lake Moripass? That plant that was supposed to be a base for a cure one day. I'm not gonna gamble my father's life on some swamp nerd's magic potion. It's not like we got a handful of aces here, Jess. Dabano and his lunatic spawn had taken the fight to us. And I sure as hell don't want to go to war without our general. Do you? All right. The plant might be back in the manor's ruins. I'll go check if there's anything left of the lab, and you... I go. You need to take care of the gauntlet. I don't give a flying fuck about the gauntlet. I'm not sitting on my ass while my father grows a new set of teeth. I know one asks you to, but if I fail, you and that gauntlet will be the only thing between us and a war we can't win. I got this, okay? Just keep an eye on that nosy lady doctor. And stay close to William, just in case I don't make it back in time. March 1866. The war between the states might be over, but the larger war, the secret war, continues. Many men still suffering from the toll the war took on their spirits, souls, and bodies find themselves vulnerable to the Sanguizuja's vicious predations. Because of that, we must ramp up our efforts. Our scientific research team has been working on a device that might finally give us an edge in this fight. As part of this effort, I am officially promoting Agent Edgar Gravener to take my place in the field. I, of course, will continue on from the Home Office. Thank you all for your service, and may the good Lord watch over and protect us. Director William Rentier. Sir? 
hate to see him like this. So vulnerable. for you in her lab. Good to see you back, sir. Be careful there, Mr. Etienne, sir. Moment, sir. The tragedy the Debanos had was taken. He lost so much knowledge. God, imagine what we could have. More of a D motion than a pro motion. You must have been a real pain in the ass. A new breed of monsters. Shit. That's what worries me. It's not something you can orchestrate over. Until recently, the Sanguisuge reproduced by turning their familiars. A slow, but effective process. Now there's this new breed. <sighs> Popping up like rabbits. But they're fierce and resourceful, but still not anything we can class as an evolutionary step up the ladder. Well, if anything, they're a step backwards. Mindless and bloodthirsty. They're cannon fodder. This is De Bono's idea of an army. Humans turn to minions or whatever foul blood beasts they'll end up being. Foul blood? Precisely, sir. Splendiferously observed. Well, I guess to know for sure we have to investigate McCallum's sawmill? McCallum's won't be an easy nut to crack. Without a working gauntlet, we can't penetrate its glamours. Guess it's high time to check up on our resident genius. God. Why do I have to be such a pig? Paper, paper everywhere. I can't find shit in here. Oh, hi. <sighs> Holy moly, where are my notes? <clears throat> As we all know, Faraday's mutual induction phenomenon. Virgil, take it easy with the jargon, please. You're talking to a field agent. <sighs> Diamagnetism, polyphase system. Uh, you sure you don't want to hear my radiography joke about uh, never mind. Here it is! Long story short, I reverse engineered the disruptor mechanism and identified the problem. Its energy consumption is off the charts! Best engineer in the Institute, huh? Well, before you jump down his throat, perhaps we can give Virgil a chance to explain himself. Miniaturization has its limits. If you want a working disruptor like this, you have to accept the fact that it won't be, well, portable. Like Amelia so kindly pointed out, I'm a field agent, as in I go out in the field. If the gauntlet's not portable, it's useless. I don't mean to put your ass over the fire, but... Apparently you do. But if we don't get it running, we're all done for. Can you make it work? Well... Maybe if I could somehow get my hands on some spare coils from the original Disruptor... Done. Where can I find them? Got reports about a visual anomaly in a mining town called Baxter. It turned out to be a glamour. Director Rentier sent me there to deliver a crate of heavy electrical coils. They were designed to help our engineers disrupt the illusion. Unfortunately, before the team could collect any relevant data, the cell was destroyed by the ticks. Whatever they were hiding must have been important. They left no one alive. How will I know these coils, Birch? Just look for a miniaturized electrical resonance. Okay, transport. okay, that's not gonna work. Pack your shit, kid. We're out in five. I'll go down first and clear the way. 
Try not to get killed or Blackwell skin me alive. Right. Roger that, Mr. Jesse. Sir, did you already find it? There. Wonder if I can get a work on it. Dear Alice, I hope you and the children are well. Yesterday we came across something down in the mines that I can't explain. Imagine a wall of gemstones harder than diamonds. Angus tried to break it apart using dynamite, but it didn't budge. The higher ups instructed Angus to use a much larger charge, but all that did was cause a cave in. Many men were lost. Angus and Eastwood among them. Any luck with the coils? No. They must have transported them somewhere down those rails. But look what our agents left behind. Huh. I'm gonna take it for a test drive. Thanks.
1890, Baxter. With the creation of this new invention, a new era has arrived. This marvel of modern science will empower us in ways we never could have imagined before. Like the invention of the repeating rifle and the Gatling gun, it will revolutionize our ability to wage war against our natural enemies. Artwork looks Indian. What is that a picture of? soon be returning home as the mine has been shut down. Agents of the Rentier Institute showed up and ordered everyone out. No one knows what they're doing down there, but there are strange things afoot. Today is my last day, and I am glad of it. There's something evil in the darkness of that mine, and I look forward to leaving it behind. Almost there. Gotta get to that other switch. Jesse, I think I found a shortcut. That's a rusty shortcut, Verge. Well... <sighs> Quick. 
course it's not working. Luckily, you have a faithful sidekick who can kickstart that thing. <sighs> Now for the other two, and we can open the gate and get down there. Can't anything be simple here? Holy moly, it's cold. That's tight. the second one.
should be it. It worked, Mr. Jesse. I can see that, you know. Now what? Sir, are you sure about this? You said down those rails is the best way to go. Uh, maybe the fastest, but the safest? I'm not so sure. You're no fun, Verge. Another way down. But I'm sure yours was more exciting. You gotta see this. With this workstation, you can easily upgrade your tech all by yourself now. Wait, have I just made myself useless? Nah, you're still good for comic relief. I am? Ready to roll, sir? into the cave, sir. Along with the coils. Let's get them.
I'm taking it. Quite a find. we found there leads us to believe that some kind of ancient creature is hibernating down in those mines. Local Indian legends refer to the name of Paisa, but the depiction doesn't hold much resemblance to any sangwa shoes we previously encountered. You alright? 
there, Verge? I am as long as that big ugly bat thing is dead for good. Mr. Jesse? Well done, Birch. Is it safe yet, Mr. Jesse? Well, as long as you can grope your way for the coils here. Well, I'm fine, sir. The dark and messy rooms are kind of my natural habitat. Thank you, Mr. Jesse. Holy moly! What the hell is that thing? Something worth putting up a damn big glamour for, I guess. I've never seen such a peculiar being. Looks like one of those dinosaurs they dug up in a desert. What's in there? This is incredible. According to these studies, it's some kind of pre-Columbian creature. The natives called it the Piazza. Scott's gonna shit bricks when he hears about this. I mean, Agent Bloom is gonna be really interested in this find. He majored in mythological creatures, but seeing it with your own eyes? Splendiferous. That freaky kid's building an army of foul bloods. How did you get roped into all this? Look here. The last entry is from the 12th of May, three years ago. That's probably when the ticks came. This ugly-ass trophy must have been important to her. It's clear she didn't want uninvited guests here. Get the coils, kid. Let's find a place where you can fix the gauntlet. Because we need it ready for action. That was suspiciously fast. You sure it works now? Uh, Mr. Renier, sir, we have a situation. I'm kind of in the middle of something. Well, it's more of an emergency, actually. Some ticks have gotten loose in the basement, and, uh... A what got out of what now? It was an honest mistake. I was taking the liberty to experiment with some ticks we captured, and things got... out of hand. Mr. Jesse, before you go all red and do that... angry maniac thing you do, maybe we could consider it a great opportunity. You make it so hard to like you, Verge. I... You know that, right? Remember that fortuitous gauntlet malfunction that helped you and your father survive? Turns out that that malfunction is a simple override protocol. One you can now control thanks to... Well... Me! You're welcome. This better work, or there's gonna be a gauntlet malfunction on your face. I ain't got time to be cleaning up every mess you nerds make. Please don't tell Dr. Blackwell about this. Mr. Renier? Too many female doctors, but I guess you can't stop progress. Right to... 
This just came in. It's from Agent Gravener. Good or bad? Private. Oh, uh... Speaking of bad, I found a giant ancient cadaver in Baxter. Any idea why Tix would want to hide it? A few. Why isn't Agent Bloom allowing anyone in to see your father? Security, Doc. Calico's the last working cell in the country, and we mean to keep it that way. That means closing a few doors? Well, so be it. But I'm a medical professional and the head of this cell. So a chain of command shouldn't be an issue for you. It isn't, sir. Emilia, you don't have to get all... I'd prefer Dr. Blackwell, sir. Ready for debrief whenever suits you best. <sighs> Oh, there you are. Well, let's skip to the things we're here for, shall we? The creature you found in the Devil's Pass is essentially an oversized leech, a bloodsucker of sorts. Its stomach acids prevent blood from coagulation. So it's like a living... container? Precisely. Moreover, according to microscopic analysis, the blood within the leech is remarkably old. Not only that, it isn't like anything we've ever seen. And Felicity feeds it to her familiars. Ah, gotta learn more about that sawmill and how it's all connected. The McCallum Sawmill was founded in 1845 by Elijah McCallum, the definition of a small-town family operation. After Elijah's death two years ago, the mill was bought out by an investor representing the Andalusia Financial Services Group. Conglomerate of banks, oil fields, railways, you name it. What does a big fish like that want with a shitty little sawmill on the ass end of nowhere? It's unclear. The purchase itself was entirely above board. What about the forest? Old native ritual sites, burial mounds, anything? Nothing a note, no. Well, I guess I'll just have to figure this out on my own then. Thanks for your time, Dr. Blackwell. I, I live to serve, sir. I'll get back to my research now. feeling about this. Ooh, our zapper's acting up. The glamour must be near. say something about the source of the glamour. This must be it. The source. More disgusting than I even imagined. The glamour's probably secured by more of these ugly tumors. Need to take them out to destroy the illusion.
is another ancient beast we can use against our enemies. Its blood is more primitive, purer. Its birth, I believe, dates back to pre-colonial times. This is what connects us all. The source of all power resides in the blood. Bones, blood, and things that we crave together. It's getting weaker now. Probably there's one or maybe two sources more. to take possession of this shit. It's abandoned. This machinery hasn't been used for ages. That's something's fishy here. Look at yourselves, my children. You were sick, weak, and poverty-stricken. Dirt poor peasants living simply to survive, bound by pain, clinging to a pointless life. Your only ambition was to pass that suffering onto your young. But now that you have decided to accept my gift, you can leave all that pain and fear behind. I gave meaning to your blood. And blood is everything. I hear you waiting, creeps. This beauty out. Thank <laughs> you. 
There you are. That was the last source. Let's see what you're hiding there. Let's go. Smell doesn't bode well. Let's take a look, see. Christ is a goddamn mud factory. What is that? What? She changed every last one of the workers here. that in this damn jungle. Hell, these things are alive and pumping blood. Got a bad feeling about its source.
crazy leech lady. More leeches. Guess I'm on the right track. I found it, Father. The forest flourishes by feasting on its blood. It's exactly how you described it. Ancient, unique, pure. This is the missing element that'll accelerate the change. Combined with my blood, we can create a perfect progeny. Bound with my will and ambition. Your life's work will be complete. They'll all see we were right to act now. If you can't change people, change the world and force them to adapt. Forest, the more blood traces I see. That's never a good sign. is covered with those damn leeches.
Son of a... Another ancient beast. Fucking great. Doesn't look to be long dead. That's a hell of a tooth. Guts. Great.
So this is where those beasts get their magical blood from. Once that ancient fella and Baxter was sucked dry, she found you, huh? Christ, I'm starting to hate mythology. working birch but we could sure use another one Anybody ever heard of a colossal monster with a forest growing on its back? Cause I got some samples. Mine. <laughs> That's a Mikanak. In Huron Indian folklore, it's some kind of minor deity. It was covered head to toe in those damn leeches. That means we found yet another blood factory set up by Debano and Felicity. That would explain why they attacked Baxter. They were protecting their source. The ancient blood they used to transform their familiars. Bad news is this Mikanak thing was supplying their war for quite some time now, allowing those foul bloods to spread all over the country. The good news is, it won't do it anymore. Even if he doesn't kill us in our sleep, that link in his head will lead the ticks right to us. Then let them come. Killing ticks is what the Rentier Institute does. You listen to yourself? This isn't about your birthright. This is what happens when we run a government agency like a goddamn monarchy. All our protocols go out the window as soon as Daddy Dearest. Keep talking to me about the rules, you bureaucratic shrew. Please, we're all on the same team, remember? Only when it suits him. How about finally telling me where Edgar went? He's in Morapa, searching for the plant to make the regen compound. The regen compound? Now you're wasting what little resources we have left chasing a fairy tale? Listen, Mr. Gravener's an experienced agent. If he didn't have faith in his mission, he wouldn't bother. We are at war, Doctor. Who else is worth saving if not the leader of the Institute? 
And in the long run, it could help everybody if the thing by some miracle actually works. You have until tomorrow morning. In the meantime, your father will be restrained and placed under round-the-clock supervision. Fine. I'm gonna get Edgar's ass out of those swamps. And if I get back with that plant and I still see that shotgun in your hand, you better damn well prove you know how to use it. You picked a strange time to assert yourself, Virgil. Why'd you back Jesse's quest for this ridiculous compound? Just because the scientists at the manor didn't find anything, doesn't mean there isn't something there. I mean, did they ever let you take a look? No. We have a habit at Calico of making the impossible happen, Doctor. I fixed Mr. Jesse's gauntlet, made it better even. Scott found the best lead we have with those leeches. If anyone can make that compound work, it's you. Those are Edgar's. Must have found that planet here. The trail leads this way. Christ, wish I had a map of this place. Now that sounds like trouble. Something broke the boat, but it looks like you managed to escape. Must have been in a hurry if he dropped his damn crossbow. I'm sure Edgar wouldn't mind if I took advantage of this little beauty. except those freaks.
This whole place smells like death. Jesus. Who the hell is this? spider web. Twisted and covered with thorns. It grows only in the marshlands. They're teeth marks. Oh, it's sucked dry. Why? Some desperate soul looking for a cure? Uh, it's of no use to me now. That eight legged freak was hunting him down. This is that giant arachnid's lair. He's not wrapped up like a mummy in a web. Guess he got away. Let's stick to the facts. Bloom researched vampiric legends, a lot of myths and hoo-ha about some sort of plan. One that could allegedly reverse the process of the change. It's considered an affront to the purity of the royal blood. Ominous. But can it work? From a biological point of view? Now and then, some of those legends contain a grain of truth. An endemic species like this may have peculiar properties. If researched properly, some cell mutations, I don't know. Imagine how many people we could save if you made it work. Look, I'm not a miracle worker, Virgil, but I'll give it my best shot.
Wolf used to be thick as thieves. Got it. Fort Six. down on top of me. Come <laughs> on. 
More footprints. They lead to that church over there. Say I trust you, Edgar. Just... Uh, uh. 
finders keepers. Edgar? Just behind you! Thanks for the hand, but I had it under control. You can tell. I found the plan. The locals call it La Orquia de la Vida, or something foreign like that. We get this back to Calico, squeeze it out, and maybe we have ourselves a way to turn this around. I'm sorry I got you into this. Yeah, getting your ass out of the fire has kind of become a habit. Edgar, you can't keep doing this forever. When those ticks attack the manor, what did your father do? Run? Nah. He kept on squeezing the trigger. That's what he did. People like us don't retire, Jesse. Even if you're lucky enough to live long enough, you'll soon realize there's nothing waiting for you. There is no normal for people like me or your father. And I was uh, naive to think there might be some normal for you. Anyway. Now that just about everyone else in the Institute is dead, I figure you and your daddy are gonna need all the help you can get to build things back up again. Well, first you give me those pretty flowers, then you get all emotional on me. Edgar, you ain't gonna try to kiss me now, are you? You little shit. <laughs> Damn it, Harold's here. You backstabbing witch! You ratted us out! Dr. Blackwell, I know we've had our differences, but this... For your information, I had nothing to do with Mr. Harrow's sudden appearance on our doorstep. But thank you for confirming how little faith you have in me. Now, I don't presume to know how things work for you, gentlemen. But I can assure you that Calico wasn't built on broken words and betrayed confidences. Women in my position don't have that privilege. Now, I assume you have the plant? We do. Good. And there are clean syringes and alcohol swabs in the lab.
Five minutes is all we need. Mr. Gravener is looking for you, sir. He's in the basement with your father. Come on, William. I've seen you survive. Of course. You can beat this. Feeling that someone's squeezing my brain. Oh, there's some thoughts in here that, that aren't mine. Oh, I see her, Jesse. Oh, no, you must stop her before. Wait, wait, wait. I see a sign. Dickinson, she's in Dickinson. I need to get to Dickinson. Tough old bastard, he's turning it around on her. It's gonna be a hard sell to Harrow. Gotta try. You keep an eye on him. And keep your hands off that switch. Sir, Mr. Harrow is waiting in the briefing room. He's... Assistant Secretary Harrow, sir. Agent Rentier. And Dr. Blackwell brought me up to speed on your father. Sir, we... I know. It couldn't have been easy. His shadow will loom large over us all. Please accept my condolences on behalf of a grieving nation. And try not to wallow in grief. It only leads to blunder. And this country desperately needs success. Aside from the news of your father's tragic demise, I've also briefed the Assistant Secretary on the successful destruction of Felicity's leech factory in McCallum Sawmill. That and a penny will buy me a cup of warm piss, Doctor. No one is safe while that crazy she-beast and her army of freaks are on the loose. And do you have any idea where she is? No. Actually, I do, sir. We have intel that she's currently in Dickinson. What intel? Can't say, but it's 100% solid. Great. You can head for Dickinson after you get back from Kingston. Kingston? There's a case containing some very sensitive information there that I need picked up. But sir, the Dickinson lead. There's at least three interstate railroads there. It might be a part of Felicity's transport. Very well. You, you there. What's your name? Oni? Virgil? Oni? Do you know your way to Kingston, only Virgil? Uh, with all due respect, Mr. Assistant Secretary, Virgil is our top engineer. Uh, he is not fit for field action. I don't give a watery shit about his curriculum fucking vitae, Doctor. I'm funding this circus of yours, and I want those papers back now. Mm. I'll get them for you. What do I need to know? We recently got our hands on a partial list of companies tied to the Andalusia Financial Services Group, like McCallum's Mill and the Kingston Oil Fields. Tabano. Tabano, indeed. He and his maniacal brat are up to their assholes in illegal acquisitions, and the government intends to seize their not insubstantial portfolio. Sounds like you need a lawyer, not a vampire hunter. Tried that already. I even sent in the blasted National Guard to secure the papers. But the place was guarded. 
That's where you come in. So what exactly am I looking for? Based on the final telegram from my forensic accountant, Andalusia's portfolio of holdings is stashed in a briefcase, presumably still at the Kingston Oil Fields Bureau on the far side of the lake. I still don't get why it's more urgent than looking for Felicity and Dickinson. Wars cost money, Rentier. And unless you've forgotten the incident at your former headquarters, we are at war. This could very well turn the tides in our favor. Uh, let's get this over with. You all right, folks? I need to find the office. You crazy? The whole area's been totally overrun by bloodthirsty freaks! The National Guard's fighting back, but there's too many of those monsters. If they don't get some help soon, we're all goddamn doomed. Let's go. Taking it. More money. Per your instructions, I have assessed the value of these assets, and I can assure you that the Kingston oil fields are still pumping and extremely profitable. If properly managed, they can bring in hundreds of thousands, if not millions of dollars per year. That's mine. 
take that. Hey, you! Can you help us out? The National Guard flooded the fields, but my friends were stuck on the other side. Stranger, we thought we were goners. Is there some way we can repay you? Yeah, you can point me towards the oil company office. Oh, it's on the other side of the lake. Though so you're gonna have to drain it to get over there. Release all counterweights and you'll open the sluice gates. Let's drain this sucker. Good. We need to get to that other one now. Thank you for letting us out, sir. I hope you make it, sir. You sure it's safe for us to leave now? Taking it. What do you know? It worked. Water's going down. Bastards drowned themselves following Harrow's orders. 
time to get that briefcase and go. For a second there, I thought you were one of those demons. The National Guard barricaded us inside here before they headed off to protect the company office. If you want to find the man in charge, you need to use that crane to move those crates. More money.
taking it. Thanks for letting us out. The office. Where is it? I need the man in charge. There's no way to get there from here. Unless you use the zip line from the top of that tower. But that'd be crazy. Please, you gotta help my buddies. Once you get on the other side, just follow the pipes. It's a kind of maze, but just keep going. Gosh, we thought we were done for! So glad you made it, sir. God bless you, sir. I can go see my friend. After a closer examination, I believe these trust documents are suspect. Every 30 years, the property rights are transferred to the next generation. However, I believe that Peter DeBono has likely been deeding them to himself for who knows how many years. Sincerely yours, Jonathan Q. Biddle.
Yes. Okay.
It's about time someone sent in the cavalry. I've been hiding here for a week. This ain't a rescue mission, so watch your mouth. I'm here to pick up some documents for Assistant Secretary Harrow. Documents? I don't know anything about any documents. Oh, uh, these documents? You must be the accountant. Uh, Jonathan Q. Biddle, at your service. Uh, Mr. Harrow promised me immediate backup, as long as I kept this safe. Harrow's written you off, Biddle. Sent me for the case, not you. All I know is that DC wants that portfolio seized. DC? What an asshole. Harrow isn't trying to leverage this property for the government, you ate. He wants it for himself. He wrote me into this scheme for a cut of the profits, and now he's hung me out to dry. That asshole. How big a cut? Ten percent. Hope it was worth all those soldiers' lives, you greedy little pissworm. I'll take that. Whoa, 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 wait. What about me? How'll I get home? Walk. Turning the tides, my ass. <clears throat> More like lining your own pockets, you slimy shit. What the hell are you? Ah, Biddle. Oopsie daisy. You sent two dozen National Guardsmen to their deaths for a paycheck. When the president gets wind of this, you're a dead man. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. It's just that the way the veins in your forehead are throbbing, it's so <laughs> comical. Mr. Assistant Secretary, these accusations sound serious, and... First of all, it's Mr. Secretary now. As in Secretary of War, as in the fucking right hand of God. Secondly, do you think the President of these United States is gonna give a royal fuck about the pissant accusations of a podunk... <laughs> Go ahead, Reggie, do it. Give me a reason to throw your cowpoke ass in a new gate and flens your father's legacy to the bone. The Harrow Institute has a much better ring to it, don't you think? Mr. Secretary, maybe it would be for the best if you... Maybe it would be best if you stopped interrupting me, you groveling mule! You want to make yourself useful? Get to the kitchen and fetch me a cup of coffee! Now fuck off and find some vampires to kill. That's much more your speed. You want something done right, you got... Mr. Rentier, your father's waiting for you in the basement. But how did you manage to see this longevity? I'm surprised... Virgil and I were just having the most invigorating discussion. I was telling Director Rent here about my ideas for upgrading the gauntlet. Huh. I must say it's refreshing to see young blood like Mr. Olney's coursing through Calico. We'll need his vital spirit if we're to rebuild the Institute's power and vigor. Well done, son. I think we may have given him a few too many vaults. I'm glad to see you're in good shape, but... Uh... We've got a situation. In order to keep your condition quiet, Amelia told Harrow you died. He's pulled rank and is sending us out on money grubbing errands while Felicity's building her army. Harrow's head knows what's right, but his heart is tainted by lust for power and money. Uh, it's gonna get worse now that he got promoted. One wrong move and we're dead in the water. The one right move, and you could catch her and end this war on the subject of moving. You know what? Maybe let's wait for the dog to give the all clear before we start unbinding anyone. Oh, Edgar. Harrow's not an idiot. Without the Institute, this country would turn into a blood feast. Now, you tell me, son. What's more important? His approval or ending this war before it started? What did you see while Felicity was in your head? Death. Death. Horrible monsters appearing out of nowhere. Fire, smoke, everything. And, and box cars. Scores of them. Filled with blood. That's how she's transporting the leeches now? By train? That's not good, sirs. Dickinson is a major cattle railway hub. 
The trains run in all directions. If there's an outbreak, we won't be able to contain it. Jesus Christ, what happened here?
works. You may have tamed the lightning and laid tracks across the continent, but you still <clears throat> the same violent beats you <clears throat> You just invented better clubs. Progress with no thought spared for those paying the mortal cost of their quest for glory. That is true vampirism! My kind would never leave one of their children to die, crying in the gutter. I won't let you turn them. You don't listen! <laughs> they don't matter, Jesse Rente. The sooner you understand that, the better. What now? Are you scared to face me in your own flesh? You have to do better to stop me. Thank <laughs> you. 
she's still here, which means the transports aren't ready. Must have caught her off guard. And now she's scared I might be her. Good.
aboard. The train's about to leave the station. <laughs> Do you hear them singing? That's humanity's requiem. You can be mankind's last sad note, or you can be part of a new opening chord of progress. <sighs> it's only natural to feel fear while standing on the precipice of change. Sometimes, what you need is a little push. <laughs> Try not to kill from my child. <laughs> Let it break poor William's heart. <laughs>
Starting to worry you'd never wake up. Feels like I got hit by a train. Those demons in Dickinson did a real number on you. Still, you'll live to fight another day. For all the good it did me. We all have our crosses to bear, my son. Even our Lord Jesus Christ fell three times on the fateful road to Calvary. We are none of us immune to trials of the flesh. At least he could finish his mission. Oh, come now. Here I thought you rentiers were made of sterner stuff. You heard of us. How? A few of your agents set up camp in the mountains a while back. Quiet lads. <laughs> but goodness, were they fond of their moonshine. I didn't know we had a cell up here. The lightning storms at their camp did much to stoke local superstition about thunderbirds and other such nonsense. Hold on. Did you say lightning storms? When they were deep in their cups, they'd ramble on and on about how they could channel the power of lightning through their metal gloves. I need to contact my people in Calico. Is there a telegraph station nearby? A couple of miles south, sure. But there's one small problem. Probably should have led with that, Padre. They started creeping out from the holes in the ground after we got back from Dickinson. Lord knows how many of them there are by now. Send your fastest man out to the telegraph station, then get everyone into the church and stay put until dawn. Before you go, Hunter, one of your people left this explosive contraption here last time. We were afraid to even touch it, but I'm sure you'll put it to good use. Is there anything more we can do to help? Pray. Thank <laughs> you. 
beloved Heather. We've been saved. The Lord in heaven sent his angels to defend us. Gauntlet-wielding soldiers of God came to our aid and decimated the devil's army. We owe them our lives. Okay, let's dance. I beg of you, stay where you are. Beasts have been appearing out of nowhere, killing and tearing our family apart. Let the good Lord protect you. Don't... Surprise, there's one in the cemetery.
Would appear that you're their hero. Your runner got an answer to my telegram? Looks like I was right. That mysterious cell in the mountains might have just what I need to upgrade my gauntlet. The Lord works in mysterious ways. Yeah, I was afraid you were gonna say something like that. An occupational hazard, I'm afraid. I'll have Martha set you up with a fresh kit bag before you go. That won't be necessary. Son, part of being a hero is knowing when to let people help you. Even Jesus had his disciples. Yeah, but one of them turned out to be kind of an asshole. Speaking of which, when those monsters started showing up, we telegraphed the authorities, and they told us not to worry, because Secretary Harrow was on the case personally. You did us a real kindness last night. I hope you know we won't forget it. Listen, next time, cut out the middleman and contact us directly. We're in Calico. I hope you find what you're looking for, son. 
And let's pray that there'll still be people like us alive once you find it. Because these days, we really need some heroes. Godspeed, Mr. Rentier. Try following the map, kid. Mr. Jesse! Okay, all right. Until that telegram came in, we all thought you were dead. Holy moly. This is where your father designed the first gauntlet. I've heard the stories about this place, but I never dreamed I'd visit it myself. Oh boy, we're about to re-explore history. Uh, the gauntlet? Don't forget what we're here for. I need to upgrade it. This old lab should have what we need. What are we looking for? Uh, okay, okay, I, I understand. Uh, what are we looking for? Uh, according to your father, the key to upping the voltage of your gauntlet is reconnecting those transmitters to the central current reservoir. Oh, English Verge. Uh, okay. Uh, I do a science-y thingy with your gauntlet, and you'll be running more charge than Edison himself could shake a circuit breaker at. Got it. I'll clear the way. You take care of finding the central reservoir -y thingy. For a ride, it's the fastest way.
got through. We've been here 16 months now, and we are making progress. The harsh weather here has helped to accelerate the process. The lightning strikes have been helping us in our ongoing efforts to harness electricity. Soon, we will be able to use it as a weapon against our enemies. Such technology will give us the upper hand at last. Stay strong. Keep the faith. The future is nearly upon us. Mr. Jesse, are they gone? For now. That doesn't look like it's working. All it needs is power. I was just about to turn on the generator over there when they appeared. Yeah, I'm on it. Keep your head down. The generator is in that house over there. Mr. Jesse, this way. Birch, you okay? That was close, Mr. Jesse, but I found a tunnel that might lead to the mines. Keep moving. It probably connects up with the main lab. Do me a favor, though. Try not to get killed.
too late. Seems the other one is up there somewhere. This is nice.
all mine. Careful. Smash it. March eighteen eighty seven. Gentlemen. The latest gauntlet tests have been very encouraging, and I appreciate your hard work and dedication to the cause. However, I must insist we continue to put a high priority on security. Under no circumstances should tests be performed in the field. Everything must be kept top secret. Our enemies must not see the fruits of our research until we can wield it against them. Otherwise, we risk exposing ourselves to great danger. The safety of the entire world is at stake. More money. Almost there. That's mine. That 
worked. Money. Jesus. I think I'm starting to develop a fear of heights. Let me guess. Ain't working? The whole damn thing froze up. Holy hell, we've got company. You do your magic. I'll take care of these guys. Sorry.
make a marvelous team, you and me, Mr. Jesse. With my brains and your... That didn't come out right. Rent here! So glad to see you back! All cried out from Daddy's funeral. Made peace with the fact that you never told him how much you loved him. Oh, wait. You didn't do any of that because William isn't dead. Instead, you and your band of grade-A chuckle fucks let the leader of America's goddamn vampire hunting agency turn into a goddamn vampire! Mr. Secretary, sir, if it weren't for Director Rentier, we never would have found Felicity and... Isn't that just fuckity great? Then I can assume you've got her severed head hidden behind your wiry dead ferret of a frame! Secretary Harrow. Dr. Blackwell, I can't believe I'm saying this. But as of right now, you are the fucking director of the soon-to-be-renamed Rentier Institute, with all the perks and privileges entitled therein. But for now, I want you to lock these sons of bitches up for high treason. And after that, you're gonna squeeze every bit of vital information out of the tick that's currently inhabiting the carcass of William Rentier. And once you're done, apply your own damn protocols and put a bullet in its head like you should have done days ago! Are you having some sort of female moment? I fucking want this fucking done right fucking now! Would you allow me to present a counterproposal? You leave Calico right now and never come back, you lying, sweaty, lecherous, potty-mouthed, flatulent, ugly mustache creep! You ungraceful swine! You sure you want to dance that dance? President Cleveland will know all about this right here. We're having dinner after a sweet-ass musical premiere none of you were invited to because you don't matter! Jesus, I thought I'd shit myself. Amelia, that was... potty mouth? I'm about 90% adrenaline right now, Jesse, so maybe you save your critiques for when my legs stop shaking. Right now, you should go see your father. Kid. He was a friend. I promised to get him his gauntlet, but I was so busy, I just couldn't get to it. I should have resisted when Mr. Harrow sent him to Dickinson. It should have been me who went, not him. Like you has to admit it. Oh, you should have seen that ugly kiss when I fuck. You gotta keep your guard up, Lou. Don't drop your dukes. Yeah. As you can see, the region compound appears to have some unexpected positive side effects. You know, I'm not the most attentive son, but I could have sworn your leg. Ha! I feel 20 years younger, Jesse. 
Get the Panzer wagon ready. You and I are gonna find Felicity. Just like the old days. Let's just wait and see how this thing with Harrow's gonna land. Harold, pa! That two-bit tyrant could command his way out of an Oklahoma outhouse. Yeah. We sure he's all right? Well, from a purely virological standpoint, he should have turned days ago. If we're seeing nothing by now, I guess compound works. I can hear you, you know. Oh, better than never. Goodness, you sound like Gravener with all your silly worrying. Where the hell is Edgar? When he thought you were dead, Edgar went on something of a revenge ride. He tracked down Chester Morgan, thinking that chatterbox might have some insight on Felicity's whereabouts. I knew that rat son of a bitch was too slippery to croak it. According to our sources, nowadays he dabbles in arms trafficking. Got himself a hideout in the mountains. Edgar snuck into the hills with a box of dynamite. If Gravener wants to get himself killed, let him have at it. This freeze is up for the matter at hand. Like hell it does. Whew, Edgar doesn't mess around. Shit, they're scattered everywhere. And then it all went down the shitter. I'm tired of putting my neck on the line for them. I barely made it out of that gathering alive thanks to those piss-drinking rentiers and their crusade. But fuck them, fuck the Bano, and fuck his devious brat. I'm out. Gotta stay low for a while and take care of myself for a change. Here come Chester's boys.
this way. with a bag. Now, where are you hiding, Chester boy? So, you're a warlord now, Chess? 
Hey, boyo, guess who's got his hands on the biggest stash of guns and ammo since the Civil War? Yes, me. I wonder why I didn't jump into the most American business there is earlier, especially when the clouds of an all-out war started gathering over our heads. Someone will profit from it, no doubt. Why shouldn't that someone be me? Yours truly, Chester, the Weaponry Caesar. Carriage is still intact. Let's see where it went. Edgar's been here, no doubt. Sounds like Edgar. <laughs> Gotta open it first. What a waste of perfectly good explosives. Next time you go and die like that, you better stay dead. Noted. Damn you, Jess. You're a horrible. 
horseplay's gonna get me killed one day. <laughs> Since you hauled your ass all the way down here, how about you make yourself useful? Okay. Very subtle, Chester boy. No one could spot that. You reckon Chester knows where Felicity is?
Hey, lads. Wait. I want to go! What the hell? I was going to tell you everything! I even got you some wine! What is wrong with you? Sorry, Chester, force of habit. What did you want to tell us? I assume you know about the bats carrying the blood of the ancient beasts. Yeah, like the leeches weren't enough. We need a wear, Jester. After the Banos demise, Andalusia invested in a forlorn train manufacturer, uh, Persephone, uh, located in a secluded area in the middle of nowhere. Perfect breeding grounds for her fluffy little biological bombs. She wants to use those trains to infect the whole country. And she's just rich enough to pull it off. All the money transfers, they're coming from a bank in Carmine. That's our headquarters. Oh, but, but my sources tell me she's using those resources to set up her end game. Which is? Destabilization. Chaos. She's headed for DC. The capital. Jesus, that little brat is ambitious. For a street rat. Dabano. Dabano picked her ass up out of the gutter, gave her a new name and a new cause, and now she thinks she's queen shit. She's building a fucking army. Ah! Why do you even care, Chester? War's good for business, ain't it? She's gone plumb crazy. Making it... Making it that much harder for all those simple sanguisuit folk. Turning all those blood bags. Pulling that stunt on your father. <laughs> oh, don't you worry about my father, Chess. Loque de la vida. You want some? You what? Please tell me you didn't use the orchid. It doesn't cure a damn thing. It may keep it down for a little, but but it always comes back with a vengeance. Bullshit. I saw it with my own eyes. It works. You saw what you wanted to see. <laughs> but it's gonna happen. All it takes is a drop of blood. Bloom. Hey, Bloom. Tell us what happened, son. You know, they were, they were working together through the Rectorinia and... 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 and, and, and the blood... The, the, the blood with the blood was everywhere. Amelia. I just... I couldn't do anything. And I, I just... <laughs> You should have seen how his eyes lit up. Like he finally had someone that spoke his language. And for that person to be William Rentier, I mean, that meant the world to him. It's all my fault. I had no proof that the compound worked. And we made some progress and your father felt better, but I gave in to the idea of accomplishment. I wanted it to work. We all did. But I should have known better. And it's my area of expertise. You sure you're up for this? I've been hunting ticks since I was 10. I can track a newborn. That's not what I meant. I've dragged too many people into this already. He's dead. It's time I accept that before anyone else gets hurt. Where do you want to start? Persephone. 
Chester said that's where they're breeding the bats. He's there. I'll let you know when it's done. somehow. That machinery over there might be useful.
offered you so much more. I don't understand why you were hesitating. Son.
gotta get to the other side. Oh, something knocked out the power supply. Let's see.
bad delivery. To face the fear of death, we distract ourselves with rituals. We believe these practices lend us strength and harden our resolve. We assume that these rules and traditions are what keep us moving forward and will eventually lead us to greatness. But they do the exact opposite. They reinforce the hierarchy and the powers that be. The sobering truth is, the system doesn't respect ambition. Everything's designed to keep us in our place. I see that now. I see I was bound by the rules others imposed on me. And I now realize if I am to achieve anything, I must break free. Yeah, another one of your glamour tricks. This new world needs the strong to guide the weak. We can still walk this road together. My son, Jesse. I know I wasn't a good father. I was too busy trying to save the world to make time for you. That made you feel like I didn't care. That you weren't good enough. The truth is, it was me who wasn't good enough. I failed everyone. After all I'd done, after all the death and mayhem, innocents were still being murdered. I couldn't put an end to it. Evil walked among us, and I couldn't even protect our own home. The truth is, I always hoped you'd achieve more than me. That one day, you'd be able to take great pride in your accomplishments. You still have time. I don't. My time is done. I hope you understand why I decided to make the choices I did. To new beginnings. You trusted my genius up to now. Think, Jesse. Why would I ever hurt you?
There is no weakness on this side. Join us! Frontier. A final choice. Forget gauntlets and cheap electrical tricks. All that truly stands between us and godhood is a drop of blood. Is that the same choice you gave to Virgil? Virgil didn't matter. He had no place in the future. Think of what you could achieve with the power we've been handed. You are worth more than any of them. I cannot apologize for progress. You adapt, or you die. I've heard those words before. She's in your head. Enough of your petulance. I am your father. If you will come willingly, I will make you. Don't know.
Stop her before she reaches DC. I taught you well after all. You just pray it was enough. Say, Mr. Gravener. William Rentier is dead, kid. Oh. Jesse needs us in Carmine. Looks like we're robbing a bank. Fire up the airship, Blue. Well, technically, sir, it's a lighter than air vessel that. Wait. What about Mr. Harrow? Won't it be upset that we've stolen his government issued vehicle? Harrow can suck my a fat dick. Yeah, exactly, <laughs> kid. Slip around.
I'll take that.
You think your illusions can stop me? Think again! Dubano? The fu- Did you really think she'd be waiting here for you? We all saw you through your father's eyes. And you're just not that important to him. Where is she? William considered you a rabid dog. He tried putting a leash on you, but you're just too wild to tame. <laughs> he didn't understand. It's not anger that drives you, but the fear. You knew you could trust yourself without your father's guidance. You're just a scared little girl. Scared of change. Give up, Jesse Rantier. We've always been one step ahead of you. I know you're sharpening your teeth for the president. You want to turn him. <laughs> but since I shut down your leech farm and stopped the plague, there's just not enough of you freaks to simply walk into the White House. What are you doing? No! <laughs> How does she plan to do it? No! Stop! Chesterfield Opera! There's a premiere! President will be there! Exposed! With almost no security! It changes nothing! Washington is too far from here. You'll never make it in time. Watch me. bunch of her freaks protecting the show. Every bullet counts. Stay focused. We can't allow her to get to the president. Lock and load. City our regards. Let's tear this bank, sons of bitches, and you asshole. Seriously? What happened to Potty Mouth?
you're here to witness this great change. With the president joining our bloodline, sharing his secrets just like your father did, we cannot be stopped! We'll see about that. I tried to make you understand. In order to build something, you need to demolish its past. Your stupid ambition took everything from me. You turned my father against me and everything he stood for. That was a fate worse than death. I'm here to make sure you won't do the same to anyone else. <laughs>
Here, you beautiful son of a bitch. You did it. The situation is contained, sir. The Institute's resources were finally put to good use. It was just a matter of proper management. We couldn't allow for it to be led like a small town family business, or even worse, to be run by a woman. Sir, this man continuously abused his position of power for personal gain. His poor decisions jeopardized the whole country, and for that alone, he should be put behind bars. James, Dr. Blackwell here has shared some rather interesting information on your conduct of late. If even half of those allegations are true, I'm afraid you're done for. Mr. Rentier, your father was a great friend. Seeing your performance today, I have no doubt that his legacy is secure. I wonder, it appears we're down a secretary of war. Ever see yourself in the capital, son? Oh, I ain't much behind a desk. <laughs> Fair enough. Then I'll see to it that full control of the Rentier Institute is returned to you. I'm afraid only you have the, um, necessary skills to deal with a conflict like the one we appear to be facing. We do, sir. We do. But to win this, we need to be bigger than ever. And smarter. With better protocols. And stronger lines of communication. Well, it sounds like you two have it all under control. You've got my full support in any way I can provide, son. Carte Blanche, as they say, sky's the limit. 